but Mike and I are on a date. It's eight in the morning. The kids are still sleeping, so it's just Mike and I, and I'm excited to see what's going on up here. Yay! hike. We just ran up the middle fork. Right up there is the Cirque. The trail crosses up and across into the East Fork. So we're three miles up from the trailhead and this has just been absolutely breathtaking with all the wildflowers and the hills and we're all going to get rain and it's starting to rain now. So the kids are back at camp. Mike and I had a little date so it's been really beautiful and now we're going to head back down and play around at camp. First good rain on our little homestead. Oh, here they go! Here they go! Woo! <laughs> Yay! <laughs> Come on. Oh, I, I should 
get my camera. Jeez, what am I doing? Let's try it again. What's going on, fellas? Waiting out the rain. It's awesome. Yeah. Wandering Village is a little bigger these days. How's it going, Dan? Real good, my friend. It's a slightly drizzly day to meet up with you guys, or the day after. Yeah, so glad you made it way up here at the Cimarron Forks. Yeah. Spectacular. Yeah. This is uh, one of your guys' favorite spots and we've seen it on videos in seasons past. So for us to be able to share this with you for the first time is righteous. It's so beautiful. Nice. What's this you say? Yeah, what you got going on? You getting some uh, musical gear? Yeah, you know, here at uh, Dose 505, we like to take our camping rig to be our music rig and they are the same. <laughs> That's awesome, man. <laughs> so, the bass right here. Hard to see, but there's a little fish right there. Oh, it's too small. We have to go back. Yeah, it's too small. It's fun, though. That's so fun. It's hard to pull the hook out. You can do it. Just do it like one quick motion. Ooh. Here, let me see. Oh, I got it. Good job. Okay, throw him back in. Yeah, throw him back. <laughs> it's hot wood. It's so fun. <laughs> Yay, good job, Ben. Well, Dan and Justin just left, and we're almost all packed up. We've spent, what was it, five nights here in the Forks of the Cimarron? Just gorgeous, just beautiful, one of our favorite places. But time to move down the road. There's some dispersed camping here at Lizard Head Pass, just south of Telluride, and we're considering staying here for the night. Um, we might go to Mesa Verde tomorrow. 
which this is kind of a nice halfway point between where we were last night and uh, Mesa Verde. And it's really pretty. There's a number of other campers here, but it's kind of spread out and the views are great. And check out these wild strawberries. Ben's just stuck collecting them. All right, this little dispersed spot up here at Lizard Head Pass. Perfect for a quick overnight, and um, we're hitting the road again. We're gonna do Mesa Verde this afternoon. Okay, we got some coming. It's clear. It's clear that way. It's clear as far as I can see. It's clear. It's clear. It's clear. Okay. So we were unable to go to Rico Hot Springs. There was a brand new gate across the parking area that said no trespassing, um, that you would be towed and ticketed. So we turned around. Um, I did a little bit of digging uh, online and found out that it is still open, but only to Rico residents, which is kind of interesting, I guess. But uh, that's what happens when people don't care for beautiful places. I'm sure it was trashed and people were tired of dealing with just a big mess and just said, nope, that's it. Just town residents only. So we did not get to go to Rico. Mesa Verde National Park. Part. Yeah. started out guarding the fountain, but in the end, they just ended up fighting for it. It was like in the court. And they forgot what they were standing for. And instead of staying and fighting it out, everybody just left. That's why the gems were separated. None of them could have the fountain. None of them could have it at all. This one.
Kiva. It's a ceremonial chamber. So this would have been roofed over. That's where they have the ceremonies. What have we done there? People. What am I making for dinner? Ooh, it is my signature gluten-free chicken nuggets. Um, tonight I'm gonna make some uh, cheesy scallop potatoes and a salad. Mike and Ollie ran up to the shower house to take a nice hot shower. And I'm making dinner. And it's lovely out here. See, there was a big rain while we were out. That trail over there of that mountain. I'm going to do that tomorrow. Well guys, for a future reference, if you happen to be coming to Mesa Verde, be sure to book a tour of the dwellings. We got to see a few of the dwellings today, um, but they were all kind of overlooks or from a, from a distance. We did get to go into Step House, but it was kind of small. I really would have liked to see the inside of Spruce House uh, or Cliff Palace. Uh, but it's been a really good time here and this campground is awesome. We just saw deer walking right through our camp and uh, That's about wrapping this up. I think tomorrow is going to be dedicated to getting home and Unpacking so we're gonna leave you here in Mesa Verde where we'd like to stay honestly for more time But time to go home Thanks guys for all of you who've watched the entire season Thank you so much. We really do appreciate your support for our little channel and uh, stay tuned. We'll have some more content for you coming out soon. Mm -hmm.